$350 billion worth of products over 10 years. Kind of just like a nothing burger of a commitment. Walmart has just been in a race to sign up more sellers. Walmart's trying to make you think that they're supporting U.S. manufacturing. Meanwhile, they get rid of their U.S. registration requirement to sell on the marketplace. Vendors will still be carefully vetted both locally and by Walmart's global trust and safety team. Okay. Sure. One of the marquee examples of incumbent does M&A, you know, disrupts its business, goes after Amazon, big bad monopoly, has now been very successful, has become the number two marketplace behind Amazon, Walmart. And, you know, they kind of, they're like a magician, you know, they show you one thing over here, but then I guess they're doing something else over here. And which is it, Walmart? We had Walmart here announce, got some nice press. And this is March 3rd, Walmart to invest $350 billion uh, into U.S. manufacturing. Now, the article is a little bit uh, vague about what that really means. What are they going to be doing? $350 billion. It's over 10 years. You know, is this really one of those like, uh, what was it? Like Foxconn saying, we're going to invest 300, you know, whatever it was, hundreds of billions of dollars into factories in the US. And I guess, I don't know, were the factories ever built Foxconn? I don't know. Is this just one of those uh, vague, big 10 year, bunch of money commitments that never actually comes through? What is it that Walmart's really trying to do here? Is they're saying we're going to help create 750,000 jobs. The article talks about committing to source a wide range of American-made products, including textiles and all these kinds of things, right? To source a wide range of American-made products, okay? I would assume what that means is they're really just going to buy those products and then resell them. So 10 years, that means Walmart does over $500 billion a year in revenue. So is this saying that of $500 billion a year in revenue, so let's say they're buying every year, if they're buying over $300 billion, you know, they don't have more than, uh, definitely, I got to look up what their gross margin is, but I can tell you this, it's not more than 40%. So if let's just say Walmart is buying over $300 billion worth of goods a year, it's probably more. I don't think their margins are that good. But anyway, they're buying over $300 billion worth of goods. Let's say, I don't know. 150, 200 billion of that's in the United States. So is this saying that they're going to allocate $35 billion of say $200 billion in spend to buy American-made products? I don't know what it is now, but if it's 10% or 15%, you're at probably 20, 30 billion dollars today. So are they saying, yeah, we're we're basically just going to buy like five or $10 billion more a year of American-made products and then resell those. That's kind of what it seems like they're saying, which is kind of just like a, a nothing burger of a commitment, right? It's just like a big fancy number. Kind of surprised the Washington Post picked this thing up. Like, what really are they announcing? They announced it at Tektronic, which makes Hoover and Oric and Dirt Devil, you know, vacuums. So they're, you know, they sell those vacuums. So to me, that's what it means. They're they're just gonna say, yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna try and resell more American products, three hundred fifty billion dollars worth over ten years. So, I mean, those are those are puny numbers compared to what Walmart does annually in revenue and what they're buying annually. This, if anything, to me is kind of uh, more deflating than it is. In, in optimistic or an enthusiastic state of affairs about how much support Walmart's going to give American made manufacturers. So, but they sure, certainly tried to spin it really nice. We take our commitment to US manufacturing seriously. We've seen some wonderful success stories and we hope to contribute to US manufacturing and job growth. Okay. All right, Walmart. And then two weeks later, March 19th, Walmart opens marketplace to non-US vendors in strategic shift. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Keep in mind that in the first couple months of 2021, 75% of new sellers on Amazon are from China. So Walmart 
has huge demand on e-com. Walmart has just been in a race to sign up more sellers, right? To expand their product catalog. Doug McMillan, CEO, has, has made that point almost every earnings call to say, we need more sellers, we need more supply, we need more inventory, we need a bigger catalog, et cetera, no, 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 right? Amazon, we've, we've now, I don't know how many times, hundreds of times I've probably touched on this, that Amazon, not only do they take advantage of sellers, not only does their tech monopoly you know, a vacuum of a, of a stranglehold on, uh, on, on so many different industries cause hardship to sellers, but they're, they are starving the United States of any ability to make a comeback in U S manufacturing. When 75% of the new sellers are from China and Amazon, I've tried this there is a way to buy products from small businesses on Amazon. It is not easy to do. You have to navigate there through kind of this like small store initiative. And then the search doesn't really work that well. You know, there's no button uh, when you're just browsing Amazon.com proper, right? On, on, the, on the left side of the screen, when you can tab through all your criteria to filter, there's no button that says made in America. Or there's no button that says small business. Presumably small business and made in America would be interchangeable, I guess. But that doesn't exist. And that's not by accident. Amazon's got like thousands of product managers. You don't think they've said, oh, well, we have a small shop, small business initiative. Why don't we just like put that button on the left panel? There's a reason that gets shut down. They want to support foreign manufacturers and foreign suppliers. That is why you're seeing Walmart take, you know, basically do this shift because Walmart, it doesn't say that there weren't foreign sellers selling on Walmart Marketplace. What it is saying that they had to previously register as a U.S. entity to sell through the Walmart Marketplace, right? So that gives you you know, it's it's a it's a hurdle. So if you're a foreign business, you want to sell, you have to have a U.S. entity. Now all that goes away, and and Walmart's saying, oh well, we're going to ensure quality control, and the vendors will still be carefully vetted both locally and by Walmart's global trust and safety team. Okay, sure. Um, to prevent the listing of unsavory items, <laughs> I mean it's it's laughable. I mean many things in in today's world are. Are laughable. I mean, all you can do is is laugh just because we're living in in the Looney Tunes. But you know, Walmart's trying to make you think that they're supporting U.S. manufacturing. Meanwhile, they're just talking out of the side of their mouth, and then they get rid of their U.S. registration requirement to sell on the marketplace. You know, they give you a bogus uh, PR story about, oh, look, we're going to source $350 billion worth of products over 10 years from the United States. Oh, and yeah, we're going to get rid of that requirement that you have to even just register as a U.S. business to sell on the marketplace. Where do you think their true motivations lie? Very sad to see. It really is. And actually, with what this article goes deeper on is that they have been listing products as made in the USA when, you know, 80% of the product is imported, but then, you know, it's like assembled here, but it's really made abroad, but it, it's still labeled as made in the USA. Point is, if these marketplaces really wanted to support US made products, not saying that they can't have products internationally. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is if they really wanted to support it, you would surface it easily in the user experience, right? Give me a little button that says made in America. Give me a little button that says small business, right? Make it easy in the user experience for consumers to make the decision to say, I want to pay a little bit more money, probably for a little bit better quality. Yes, it's true. And I'd like to buy a made in America product. Give me the button. They don't even give you the button. Not surprised. Not surprised by much anymore, but it's uh, it's still sad to see nonetheless. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, 
follow us on Rumble, and text us 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.